Looks like it's Neptune. Let's see what you've got. This one's actually better. We need better. And cool. Get rid of the spacesuits too. That right, should be good for the moment. Goodbye.
I got to meet whoever you two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Uh, we're from the Explorers Group's constellation. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? It'd be better hey, than I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. <laughs> Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Thanks again for the rescue. Don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. Next time you're in Sidonia, hit me up. While we're here, it wouldn't hurt if we checked in at the lodge. It's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Sweet. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? 
I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Bye. Let's just, uh... Skill points. Oops. Yeah. So we got uh, some research about the craft, five unique food, drink, and drug weapon mods or equipment mods. Interesting. Okay. Uh, pick five blocks. meters while at 75% or more of your maximum capacity load. That'll be easy, I think. The other thing I think I want is I want to dip into uh, combat a little bit. <sighs> I think I want to just do straight up ballistics. Ballistic weapons do 10% more damage. Even though I was using a laser weapon there for a bit, but yeah. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. Tracked on your HUD, only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of open objectives. Select any objective in the quest to track the whole quest. You can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your active quest objective. I am not going to do that one yet. I want to do something entirely different. We you know what he's like. Your Just father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. Carrying enough clutter there, or should we find... Can I help? I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Well, this does not bode well. Talk to you later.
Sarah's friend. You come to enlist at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard? We're the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet. Any captain can join, regardless of origin. Get to fly your own ship and earn credits as you help the people in the most distant reaches of the United Colonies, all while earning your way to UC citizenship. Put in the time, and citizenship is guaranteed. Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. By joining the United Colonies Vanguard, you agree to perform necessary services for the United Colonies that can place you in serious danger, resulting in harm to your craft or yourself, up to and including death. Yeah, but I have unlimited number of lives, so. In exchange, the United Colonies Vanguard agrees to compensate all captains accordingly to their experience level and difficulty of the task requested. All applicants will be required to earn a satisfactory grade on a simulated combat flight. Okay. Uh, successfully completed a, complete a probationary mission. Upon the completion of both prerequisites, the United Colonies Vanguard agrees to sponsor your citizenship application and agrees the, the granting of United Colonies citizenship once Efficient time or acts of valor have warranted it. Do you agree to the above commitment? Wish to initiate your journey? Yes. Okay. Registration accepted. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall or continue on to the examination. Sovereign powers. 
wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188. Later followed by House Blue, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. The result of the Centaurus proclamation has always left me torn. So much conflict arose as a result. Was it worth it? Galaxy's most mysterious predators, 
the Terramorph. Aware of a pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city seemingly out of nowhere on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, sealing off the city, the outbreak, and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. brought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand, that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colony senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Vey Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. I was a strong supporter of the Armistice. All of the terrible weapons that both sides used against one another. It had to end. Applicant, 
to the piloting simulation chamber. Please enter the designated simulation pod to initiate your exam. The desk have spent a fair bit of time in simulators just like these. Cool. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. Flight Simulation Chamber Applicant, currently in orbit around a high-detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair.
results, or restart the exam from the simulation's control terminal. Oh, well, I did moderately better than uh, the requirements, but uh, it's okay. I think it still proves I need a better ship. Similar. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. We'll only keep your best run. the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Uh, they told me to come back. Ah, uh, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? I'm ready. Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data, checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. Two traits the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4. Not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the Sim too. I can tell you that way were some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Pretty standard <laughs> for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. 10 years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John. You're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? <laughs> Fantastic. Then just follow me. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the skies. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? 
and to uphold the values of the Vanguard. Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy. <laughs> then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is... comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau Ceti 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come, so Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti 2 count on you? Aye, aye, Captain. Let's do this. That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean, no known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Alright. Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. <laughs> the repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. Awesome. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit.
one that was on Vectera, right? Uh, you flew in on the, uh, frontier. Depends on who's asking. Tommy Bitlow, SSNN Research intern. Word is the frontier was involved in an attack? It's true, right? You saw some real action? Great, great! Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you. An actual eyewitness! Uh, there's credits in it for credible newsworthy information. I could use some money. And easy money, too. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it! How can I help you, Captain? If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Cool. Hi there. So Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Let's see what oh, please, to take a look. They'll do, because... Space suits are worth a lot, and they don't have a lot of credits. Oh, please, take a look. Uh, Let's first see what they got for... med packs. Let's buy those. Resources. Yeah. Oh, they want to buy a lot of digipacks, so I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff. No. But I can. Oh, that was from their inventory. Oh, I'm done. Okay. Never mind then. Sell that one. And modify criminal. I have ten of those holy or er, eleven of those holy shit. I only need one. And I barely need that. Actually, look at that one. So that Ooh, that's a suppressed one. In case I want to be stealthy, I should actually add that one to my to my bar. My favorites. I don't need four cutters. Just need the one. Uh, 
repair equipped. better energy and EM whatever the heck that means. These are both eh, they protect it against radiation, but <sighs> kinda wanna wait till I have a better one. I went through weapons, went through packs, went through spacesuits, apparel, eight notes, miscellaneous, Codex cards, multipliers. Or just try to have one. I think it'd be better just to try to have one that utilizes the best of what you need. Or, you know. I think I'm gonna just sell both of these. I need the credits more than I need the packs. The helmets, I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Got three frag grenades that I should really have that on me. I should really have on me as well. Thanks! It it's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile! Uh, not much better. Much better place. Now I can actually maybe run.
really good. It's hard to pick. Two there. And the rank three. Tractor tractor resources will get highlighted when using the hands hmm. Nice. Okay, but I think that's where I'm gonna end it there for the video. And uh hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.